you have different options when it comes to prototyping a circuit. You could use a breadboard style like this, and this is typically what I end up starting with, where you place your components into the hole, um, they're connected, each row is connected electrically, and then you have uh, an electrical bus along here for positive or negative, and basically you can do anything you want. And it works out really well for some things. Now, if you want to start doing complicated things, or you want to have the circuit so that it's uh, reusable for later on, so you, you basically, like, these can come out, right? And sometimes they don't even connect properly. Um, if you want to do things a little bit more permanent, you could typically, you could use a board like this. So this is a typical perf board. They're connected electrically on each side, so each hole has its corresponding hole on the other side. And this is a really, really good way of doing it. And I've done this for years. The problem comes when you're trying to wire up uh, jumper wires for it. So you have, a, you have a choice. You can either make the jumper wires go over the top and connect them on the bottom, try to solder everything together, or you can make little vias on the bottom and try to hide your connections a little bit. I've, I've had... I've had bad luck with this, um, basically because sometimes they'll short out, right? So if you have a little jumper wire, sometimes the plastic will melt because you get the ends too hot, and I typically would make mistakes. What happens if I put this NPN transistor in the wrong way? Now suddenly I have to unsolder it and try my best to clean the holes out and try to get it the next way. It ends up being a mess. So now I do things a little bit differently. This is called Manhattan style. And the idea behind it is that you have your copper clad board. Typically this would end up being your ground plane. The idea behind it is that you take these little pads, and I'll show you how I make these little pads later on. You take your pads, I'll do, I'll do three because I'm using a bipolar NPN transistor. You place them in any configuration that you need. You glue them down using super glue, and then you connect your components just like, just like that. So your NPN transistor will end up connecting to all three of these pads. And this is really, really good because you can change around your configuration as you go. I've soldered these on backwards so many different times. It makes it easy because now you can basically hit it with a soldering iron, lift your pads up and change it, and put around the, uh, the other direction. And there's no, there's no mess to go along with that. And the other thing is too, if I have a resistor out here and another pad, I can switch out that value of resistor based on the feedback I'm getting from the circuit in one way or another. Is it doing what I want it to do? In the end, you end up having a nice, solid, electrically connected circuit. It looks nice, and then it, get, it gets you to the next point where if you want to have it professionally developed using KiCad or whatever, you can definitely do that and have a board house make it for you.